As some of you might know, I'm trying to make an operating system for my old computer in my free time. In this video I'm going to show you the simple kernel I've made, and in the next videos I'll get into some of the main topics of OS development and low-level programming in general. Just to have something to show you apart from some text on screen, I wrote a simple command line interface and a very simple interpreter. I've made all these in about a week between the end of the exam session and Christmas, so I didn't manage to include some important features a kernel should have, like dynamic memory management or a file system, but I will surely get back on it after the next exam session in the summer. As you have seen from the video footage, I managed to make it work both on my old and my modern physical machine, but I'll use a virtual machine in this video. Being very lightweight, it boots and loads the kernel in a blink of an eye, so the very first thing you see is this command mode. Here we have a very limited number of commands we can print with the help command. Uh, we can switch to dark mode. Yet again, I only added these to have something to show, and I will likely throw these all away when I'll add some more important features. By typing code, we switch to code mode, where we can write a simple linear program in this sort of BF uh, language without loops. And I can already hear you scream, it's not even Turing complete! But of course, that is not the point of this video. There is also somewhat of a text editing mode, but it's only a placeholder for a future actual text editor. I know it doesn't seem like much, and it's not much really, but keep in mind, this is from scratch, no external libraries, uh, whenever I print I'm actually writing to video memory, and save for the keyboard, I have to handle interrupt requests. I found out that there is actually a lot of documentation about this, and a lot of well-written resources you can learn this from. You can find a list of the ones I used on my GitHub page. After recording the first episodes of the series, I found out what Poncho, who's doing a great job making a 64-bit operating system. He has more than one series, the latest one should be for UEFI. He also does some other kind of stuff, so yeah, check him out, he's good. After finding out all this, my initial intent to make a full-fledged tutorial series has changed a bit, since it would be redundant, and with the little time I have, it would be frustrating for you to wait such a long time for a new video. I will remove the numbering from the videos. Each video will be complete by itself. I will try and cover some topics I think it's worth talking about. And of course, if you have any requests or suggestions or corrections, do write them in the comments. Whenever I will feel even slightly unfamiliar with some concept, I will not cover it and I will instead give you a link to some article by people who know it better than me. After all, I am like many of you just a student. A computer science student in my case, but still, a student. It's been a pretty tough year for us all. And I wish you a very, very happy new year. Expect some more content soon.